Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick of the Gonzaga versus UCLA NCAA Tournament Final Four matchup on Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. Well, we finally have made it here to the Final Four. Remember last year, no NCAA Tournament, and here we are, Final Four. A lot of people saying, oh, there's not going to be any NCAA Tournament this year. They're not even going to make it through college basketball season. Yeah, right. We're not going to let those bad vibes ever bring us down. We've been playing college hoops all season long. And, of course, right here all the way until the Final Four in Indianapolis. Man, Gonzaga, 14-point favorites, the number one seed and the number one overall seed in the tournament, the number one team in the country all season long, undefeated, looking to be the first undefeated team in quite some time in college basketball. And they are just two games away from getting it done and going down in history. There's just a handful of teams that have run the table. Gonzaga looking to join that group. Of course, UCLA has done it more times than anybody else. But here come the Bruins with Mick Cronin. Got some redemption, you know, last time out, making it to the Final Four. He was the coach of Cincinnati when they imploded against Nevada, blowing that 20-plus point lead just a few years ago. He took the UCLA job. You know, his job was to get the Bruins back into prominence in just two years. He's got the number 11 seed Bruins in the Final Four, taking on the number one team in the country. Hey, in order to knock off the number one seed in the Final Four, you got to at least make it to the game. And Mick Cronin and UCLA, hats off to you for getting there. You know, we know the Zags can score like no one's business. They have the top offense in the nation. But UCLA, I don't think they have the guns to go with them if it turns into a track meet, which Gonzaga always tries to get it to be. We saw them in the Elite Eight against a USC team from the same conference, the Pac-12, and uh, they basically ran them right out of the building early. It was over before it ever even started, and UCLA knows that if they have any chance whatsoever, they can't let that happen. If they fall too far behind, this game is going to be over, just like it has for all of Gonzaga's opponents so far this season. But Gonzaga hasn't covered the spread against all their opponents this season, just uh, 16, 12, and 2. A lot of teams that have covered against Gonzaga, they've got to the lead early on the Zags and kind of controlled the tempo. That's how they've been able to cover the spread. No one's been able to beat them, but we saw West Virginia do it. We've seen BYU do it a couple times. And, you know, when you're getting 14 points, it doesn't take all that much to cover the spread. But as we've seen in these Zag games, Well, they certainly have the guns to uh, cover 14 and they have the guns to cover 24 if, 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 if all the cards line up for them. I think in this one, like I said, I think it all comes down to UCLA because Gonzaga is going to play their game no matter what. And uh, UCLA, they're going to have to try and slow the tempo. I personally don't think they have the guns to go with Gonzaga and put up a big number. And I think for that reason, we can avoid this minus 14 spread and we can just play the total in this one. And I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go under 145 and a half. I don't think, I think Gonzaga would have to score 100 points in order to get to this number. And I just don't see them doing that. So I'm going to go under 145 and a half. And that's going to be my. That's going to be my free pick. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this game. I'd love to hear your opinions. I love, of course, college basketball. And this is kind of like for us at Pick Dogs and, you know, our community, which you're all a part of. This is just a celebration of of the college basketball season, the Final Four, and, uh, of course, the championship game on Monday night. I'm so excited that we made it after not having it last year. Um, people ask me, are you excited for baseball season? I say it's just another day, another day at the office, but the final four. Yeah, I'm stoked for that. Anyways, of course, if you're looking for my best bets and best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world today, be sure to be sure to, uh, Check them out over at our website, pickdogs.com. These are the bets I'm most confident, the games I'm betting today. I have a pick against the spread in this game there as well. So be sure to check it out and uh, as well as best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world.